So in this video, we are going to look at how to play around our Excel worksheet or how to format our Excel worksheet. It's important to know how to play or how to format your Excel worksheet because it makes your work easier. So this is my Excel worksheet over here. So you know it. It every sheet has its own color. I can easily identify this sheet or different sheet. A sheet from the different one with different formatting. I can easily you know do a lot of things around it so it's very important to know how to format your excel worksheet so without wasting time let's let's jump right in all right so assuming this is a new interface so how do what is excel worksheet excel worksheet are the space that you know you are provided interface that you are provided to work with so this is an excel worksheet i can add as many excel worksheets i want to work with so depending on what I want to do, I can add series of worksheets. So assuming here I have several worksheets and each sheet is different from the other. So I can format it or I can play around it. So the first thing we are going to look at is how to rename a sheet. So in this case, at your sheet, you right click, then you go to what we call rename. So here yeah, it gives you the option to what to type your name that you want to use. So here yeah, I want to name it Rona's video. So that is the name I want to name to give it to the first sheet. So the second sheet I want to name it first video. So first video. Okay. So with the third one I want to name it data data one so that in the fourth one i want to name it i want to name it youtube video youtube videos okay so with this i can name all my what sl sheet so that is basically how to name an sl sheet now let's look at how to color our sl sheet how to differentiate each sheet from each sheet using color so first i'll click on the sheet that i want to you know change the color then right click and move to what we call tab color so with here i can choose any color of my choice so if i'm choosing this one immediately my sheet changes color so if i click here i can see the color of what this sheet here i want to use red over here so this one changes to red here maybe i want to use yellow so this also changes to Changes to yellow here. Yeah, maybe I want to use something um, like green. So this also changes to green. So with this one, I can add as many sheets I want to add. So if, if as you add more sheets, you can see that it's not all the sheet does not display at a go. So if you want to see all the sheets, you just have to click on the arrow sign here, and it brings you back to the various or to the first various sheet. Now. You can do a lot of things around your sheets by right clicking and you see a lot of what a lot of other options so i can hide my sheet i can protect my sheet and i can view the code of my sheet they are all there and then i can also insert a new sheet so here i can insert a new sheet but this gives me options if i want to these are sl templates we'll be looking at them in our subsequent video so these are sl you know templates so if i want to add or if i want to include a new sheet using the sl template i can quickly just click on any of them and then add but if i just want to add an empty worksheet i will just click on this one and then click on ok and add a new worksheet to it but look at i want this temp to be at the last part but it's appearing at the first part of the sheet so in this case you don't have to worry or you have to do it right just by click and click on move so i'll click on this then move to the i'll click on move to the end so i'll come here and click on move to the end the sheet i am on and i'll click ok and immediately you see that that particular sheet has moved towards to the end so another way that we can also use to move the sheet to whatever you want is just double clicking on the sheet and then you drag it to the position that you want so you first double click the sheet you drag it to like you can see is being dragged so if i want to place at a second in between the uh, second and the third sheet i just leave it here and you can see that it has moved in case i want to move it to the last i can also just double click and then drag it to the last 
part of it and you see that it's at the last part so that's another way that we can move your sheet from one position to the other another thing i can do at my excel sheet is trying to duplicate one excel sheet so maybe i want the double copy of the blood pressure data so i just right click on it and then go to what we call move or copy you see when you come here all the excel book that you have opened can be found at this column over here this column so i have my book one open i have video one book also open and i can also create a new book over here so immediately i click on this new book it will open a new excel book altogether of which i am not ready to create one so i want to deal with the video x so here i want a duplicate of the blood pressure um, data so here what i will do is uh, i will select this one that i want to duplicate and come here and I click on what we call cop create a copy so once i've clicked on create a copy i will then quickly click on what okay immediately i click on okay we can see that my data has been created i have a duplicate here so this one is the second one and this is the first one name as well two so i have the data duplicated for me so these are the few ways to you know format your sheets so remember that your sheets is the interface one interface that you can what you can work with so you have different you can create different different sheets and later we'll be looking at how to merge different sheets together in case we have data at the various we have data on the various sheets